Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss about the sixth poem that is a comet written by Norman Littlefoot. Sixth poem, comet of ninth stamp. This poem is written by Norman Littlefoot. We will discuss about Norman Little Ford. Little, Norman Little Ford was born in 18th May 1889. He was born in 18th May 1889 and he passed away in 20th May 20th May 1947. Okay. He was an American poet born in the Maryland, USA. Most of his work focused on life and the nature. So all his works were based on the life as well as on the nature. His poems are simple but deep in thought provoke the reader to observe the idea beyond the usual. His thoughts will provoke the idea among the reader beyond the usual. He will always think beyond the usual thing. Okay, let us see what he had described. It is a very small poem as well as it is a memory poem. So read and uh, memorize it. Okay. Ramping through the heaven, never stopping day or night, a spectacle of a lifetime, a comet is full flight. Ramping, ramping means it is going through the area with a lot of noise and causing a great damage. That is a ramping. Okay. So, ramping through the heaven, it is a, uh, traveling with a great sound and creating a lot, lot of damage to the heaven. Never stop day or night. It won't stop. It simply the travel it will travel throughout the day okay the comet the spectacles of the lifetime the comet is a full flight if the spectacle the we will see that the lifetime it's a comet is a full flight it means it will be very active it never take rest it will travel always it used to travel with a great sound and causes the great damages for how, next line, the next stanza, he had explained it. Faster than a cheetah with a tail that miles long, bigger than the mountain, so powerful and strong. He had explained the, the, the speed, the speed of the travel of the comet. It's faster than the cheetah. Cheetah is the fastest land animal, will move out, will run very fast. So it is faster than the cheetah. That, uh, the way it travel is faster. With the tail that's miles long, the, it, when it's traveled, it's produced some smoke. That is a tail it's, that's miles long. Bigger than the mountain. The size is bigger than the mountain. So powerful and strong. It is very powerful and strong. First answer, he said that how the comet will travel. It will travel with a rampling through the heaven. It is making the loud noise and it is traveling here and there. Full day and night. Okay, never stop. The journey of the comet will never stop. So it will continue. Keep on traveling here and there. The spectacle of the lifetime. The comet is a full flight. If you see that, it will be full active. And for how the, the speed? It is faster than the cheetah. And it is the miles uh, with the tail that miles long. Whenever, whenever it's travel, it will leave the tail. Okay, it leaves the smoke. Okay, bigger than the mountain. The size is bigger than the mountain. And so powerful and strong it's very powerful and the strong the outer the outer ice is melting causing the vapor uh, vapor from the force and the leaves the trail behind it uh, as it's travel on its course so outer ice is melting because of the uh, speed and it has a um, powerful and the heat it is producing because of that the ice the outer ice is melting because of the speed the friction that heat may produce so the ice which is there in the outer area it is melting causing wave, vapor wave, water vapor the vapor from the force it is causing the vapor means due to the heat the ice melts and it will convert it into air that's why it is causing the vapor water vapor from the force and the leaves from the trail behind it as the far as the travel of its course if one should come too close to the earth the atmosphere will shake with a shock wave reaching to the ground causing the land to quack. So when we reach closer to the, when the comet comes closer to the earth, what happens? The atmosphere will shock. You may, the, if some, there is one prediction that within, within this 2000 and 
20s, 20s, the later part of the 20s, there is a great gigantic gen, gen, rock is going to attack the earth. Then there will be a very great losses there. So the, 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 uh, the rock is traveling very closer to the earth. Anyhow, there will be a great damage for the earth. So if the comets comes close to the earth, what happened? The whole atmosphere will shook. With the shock waves reaching the reaching to the ground, the, if the if the comets fall on the uh, floor ground, what happened? There is a vibration will be there. That shock will create the earthquake. How do you know how the earthquake is occurring? Because of the plates plates which is available on the tectonic plates which is there on, under the ground. Because of uh, some atmospheric pressure or shock, what happened? This earthquake will occur due to the atmospheric pressure okay the same way the earth if the comet will fall on the raw uh, earth what will happen due to the shock waves that will be the earthquake scientists say the chemicals in the dust they leave behind could have started life on the earth which is results in the mankind the scientists say how this comets form this says the chemical in the dust they leave behind what are the they are form of the dust and dust okay could uh, could have started their life on the earth which results in the mankind they had started their life on the earth which is result in our mankind i cannot say if this is true i don't have the right but i know no better spectacle than the comet in the full flight so we can't able to say when is going to attract the earth or what is going to happen to the earth we can't able to say but if you see that full flight it will be the very great sight to us that is a very great uh, view to our earth only he had described about the appearance of the comet not the uh, here he have he said he have no uh, he 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 have no right to say what is the disaster that the comet is going to create to the earth or what is the thing which is going to create to the mankind here he had explained about the view of the comet if a spectacle means if you view the comet the comet is a very beautiful to see because it is the full flight Okay, he just he had explained the beauty of the comet. Okay, I will read the poem. You have to listen. Then I will uh, I will explain. I will give one more exercise for you. Okay, ramping through the heavens, never stopping day or night. A spectacle of a lifetime. Comet in a full flight. Okay, ramping through the heaven. In the heaven, it is ramping here and there with a loud noise and creating so much damages by hitting here and there. Never stop day and night for the whole day or night. It is not stopping. It is moving here and there. The spectacle of the light lifetime. The comet is in a full flight. If you see the spectacle of the life, the view of the life for our lifetime, the comet in the full flight. The comet is in the full form. We can see that. So beautiful and how it is it is a faster than the cheetah and it is a uh, it will leave the, it will carry the tail whenever it goes for mile long it is bigger than the mountain and strong and powerful and the outer ice which is there it started to melt because of that the vapors will form and uh, when, when it comes close to the earth definitely because of the atmos the atmosphere will shock because of the sh shock waves there may be causes for the earthquake definitely if it's it is it is made up of the chemicals and the dust if it's uh, it uh, if will fall on the earth what will happen the earth uh, that will be the uh, great disaster will happen to the whole mankind so here it whether it is going whether it is going to say or not true or not whether it is going to create damage or not but the one thing is better to know that full flight just he is seeing the comet in the full flight he is explaining the view the full the comet in the um, beautiful okay so the here the poet describes about the uh, principle uh, he is not going to describe about the principle and but but he uh, he, uh, he said that the sight of the comet is a full flight is always it is very good best spectacular the view vandu eppovume arvaiya irukum adu vandu earth vandu taaki earth ku edavadhu aga poda illai adha enna man chemicals irukku enna dust irukku enna aagum enna seiya poda adha laam solala for in case if it is fall on the earth that will be definitely the earth will have a earthquake because of the shock rays abin solli he had ending the poem 
ramping through the heaven never stop day or night the spectacle the spectacle of a lifetime the comet is a full flight faster than a cheetah the tail that miles long bigger than the mountain so powerful and strong the outer ice is melting causing vapor from the force and leaves that trail behind it as they travel on its course if one should come too close to the earth in the atmosphere will shake with a shocking reaching to the shock waves reaching to the ground causing the land to quake scientists to say the chemical in the dust that they leave behind could have start the life on the earth which results in mankind i cannot say if this is true i do not have the right but i know no better spectacle than the comet in the full flight only the best thing to be that the comet is a full flight full la the comet paakumbodhu or arumiyana or kaatchiya irukum so the first one read the following line and answer the question they have they had even the uh, questions they had even some appreciation question the so first stanza first three stanza we have to summarize okay so you have to summarize the first three stanza of the poem and you have to write and send to me this is a homework for you okay then there is a summary they had given and the, uh, also they had given some words in the box so we have to read the poem and we have to fill in the blanks the poet describes a moving comet with a speed through the heaven and the never takes a break right dash so it never take a break for the it never stop day and night so you do the book exercise in the page number 167 so at page number 167 so the comet does not uh, break, uh, take a break by day or night first one is day or sorry first one is day or night okay next the second one when the comet is in the full flight it gives dash which can compare to the which can can be compared to anything else in the lifetime if see hmm, it gives a dash so it is giving us a spectacular scene you have to read the line then it will be easy for you to understand so it is creating a spectacular scene you can see that and that scene can be compared to anything else for the lifetime that the beauty of the comet can can be compared we can't able to compare because that is such a beautiful the comet is compared to as for its speed and the mountain as for its so for the speed they had compared with the cheetah it is so fast as cheetah and the mountain mountain for powerful and strong it is so powerful and strong next the dash melts what melts the ice the outer ice will melt okay so the outer ice melt into vapor okay next the sixth one uh, melts which causes the vapor from the force and leaving and leaves behind the dash as it travel on its path what it will leave it will leave a trail the seventh one as it travel on its own way if we if it comes very close to the atmosphere it causes a shake which turns to produce what it will produce if it comes near to the earth and it fall on the earth means it will produce a shock waves hmm shock waves that reach the earth surface according to the dash the comet leave behind the chemical according to whom according to emerging of life oh, sorry according to the scientists the scientists say it is uh, made up of according to the scientists they say that is the the comet is chemical in the form of dust which results in the dash on earth what what will create it will emerging of life it will create the emerging of life it will create the earthquake emerging of emerging in life 
will emerge in the life of the human being what will happen can can came to existence so it will come to the end but the poet is not sure uh, whether this principle is true or not but he know he know for sure that the, uh, whether the true way may be the sight of the comet is full flight in this best spectacular whether it's going to uh, create uh, damage to the mankind or not or making the earth to be exist or not but the one thing that he was sure if you see that comet it is a best spectacular so i hope you had understand the poem so read it then for your better understanding learn the stanza 1 and 3 memorize it learn and write and send them uh, your written copy to my whatsapp number i hope you had understand thank you my dear